Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Heather. Today is a plan with me, and we are planning for Monday, October the 12th through Sunday, October the 18th. And it is Sunday right now as I'm filming this, so I'm giving you a peek at last week's um, pretty much completed spread. So this kit was Planner Kate, and it was called Harvest Time. And I loved it. I love all of these blue and orange colors together. It's just, I love it. So I really enjoyed this kit. Um, had a great week. A lot of tennis things going on with my daughter. Had time with friends, a couple of our friends on Saturday. And then the Panthers won their game today. So it's been a great week. And I'm looking forward to this coming week. So for this week, we're going to be using another Planner Cake kit, and it is called Enchanted Night, and this is kit number 254. So if you did not see my um, October kit haul, Planner Cake October kit haul, then you missed my explanation on this. Um, this time I did buy the full box sheet for this kit. My reasoning for that is I did not really care for this full box. It's not really any Halloween vibe to it whatsoever. It's more of a Cinderella type feel to it. So I'm going to be using one of the full boxes off of this sheet to give it more of a Halloween feel to the spread. So I have the sampler, the full boxes, the individual date headers already numbered for the week, thin washi, pattern labels, and icon dots. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down my washi up at the top. I do not feel like I have to white it out this week because this is a darker colored washi. So I'm just going to leave the page as it is. And I apologize if my lighting is not that great. Um, we're probably getting a pretty good storm right now. I haven't looked outside since I was setting everything up for my video, but we were actually under a tornado warning for a little bit, and then it got canceled because the storm weakened. But it's still a pretty nasty storm, so um, that's part of the reason that the lighting is not that great. It's actually pretty dark outside. I have my washi down at the top. I'm going to go ahead and put down my sin washi and my date headers and I'll be right back. Next, I'm going to move to my bottom bar, and I think I am going to go with this Castle Full Box sticker. I think that just really has a pretty good Halloween vibe, so I believe this is the Full Box I'm going to go with. Now, do not be surprised if I come back next week to show you how this week filled in and there's a different sticker there but for now I think I want to go with the castle and then I'm going to pull my this week sticker and I think I want to go 
go with this one here. We're going to put that here. Alright, and then I, at this point I think we are ready to start planning. So tomorrow, um, we do have to take my husband's truck to get some repairs done. Uh, long story short, we were on a camping trip and a guy pulls up in the site beside ours with his camper. My husband makes ask him, do you need me to move my truck? Because they were tight sights. Guy says no. Continues pulling in. And proceeds to scrub up the side of his brand new camper in my husband's truck. So, tomorrow we are finally getting that repaired. So I'm going to be dropping him off to... Um, take the truck and then I'm going to take him to the rental car place because we will have a rental car while that's being worked on. Tomorrow will probably also be a laundry day. Usually I only mark that when I'm doing all clothes because that helps me remember I need to be sure to get that done. And I'll just take the little washing machine icon here. Tuesday, we are continuing with my daughter's tennis clinic. That is in the afternoon. So I'm going to put a box here. Maybe right there. And then I'm going to grab Planner Kate sheet number 460 with the tennis balls. And I'm going to put a tennis ball there in the corner. I'm also expecting a Planner Kate order to come in that day. So I'm going to take one of my pattern labels, do this one, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to grab Planner Kate sheet number 1172, and it's little Happy Mail stickers, I'm going to put that there. And I may change my mind about that because that doesn't really match the spread very well, but we'll see. Okay, on Wednesday, another tennis lesson. This one will be in the morning. Grab the tennis ball sheet again. Thursday will be another tennis clinic. I think I'll do a flag this time. With the tennis ball. And our dog is due for his monthly flea and tick preventative, so I'm gonna grab my Planner Kate sheet number 845. And let's see what matches. I think we'll do this light purple here. Oops, I'm on the wrong day. That goes here on Thursday. Okay, we'll put that there. Jump to Saturday. And that is my planner time. I work on my some plans, 
meal plans, all that good stuff. And I'm going to take the opportunity to use one of my favorite Doodle Girls. This is sheet number DG35, and this is the Planner Girl. Doodle Girl. And I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it is absolutely pouring down, so that storm is here. On Sunday, the Carolina Panthers play in the afternoon. So I'm going to take this game day sticker from Planner Kate, that's sheet 560. Pull this down just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these little flags. And if you have not seen a plan with me before, I will write the game information here as far as who they're playing and the time. And then if they win or lose in this little flag. So I have that set up. And then uh, I think the last thing I'm going to put down before I do my meal planning and everything um, is my cleaning schedule. So I have talked about this in other plan with me's. I have two schedules that I switch back and forth on. And I have a schedule A and a schedule B for cleaning and this just helps me keep track of that. And to make a not so fun chore more cute I'm gonna get out my cleaning doodle girl this is sheet dg30 and i will just notate what schedule we are on in that box okay so what i have left now is my meal tracking and weather tracking so I'm going to do my final box here. I always wait until I have placed my flag, my weekend banner, to draw this line. Make sure I have enough space for everything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my meal tracking icon dots down and my weather put down. Okay, so this is how the week is turning out so far. I think I am going to enjoy it. Again, do not be surprised if this box switches. Um, and also, just to give you fair warning, because I did not know this until I put the box down. If you do get the full box sheet from Planner Kate, as you can tell here, the full box was on this sheet are quite a bit bigger than what comes on your sampler page. I think I like the size of the sampler sheet box better, but I'm going to figure out if I like that or not and we'll make adjustments if necessary or I may just leave it as it is so you will find out on my next plan with me whether I switch it out or not. If you have any questions on anything I've shown during this video, please leave them in the comments below. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed a little me time, and I hope everyone has a great week. Bye.